10.32 a.m. Los Angeles, California. This video is a supplement to the series titled, Surviving a Nuclear Detonation. This video will focus on a simulated surface detonation on a major U.S. city using the nuke map. Since I live in San Diego, it is a likely target given the huge military presence here. So I will select a preset. Let's say Los Angeles. Select the largest nuclear weapon ever detonated. Select surface. Show casualties and radioactive fallout. Five, four, three, two, one. Detonate. Four million one hundred and sixty one thousand three hundred and twenty estimated fatalities. This circle shows the radiation radius. 500 rem radiation dose. One rem carries with it a 0.05% chance of eventually developing cancer. Doses greater than 100 rem received over a short time period are likely to cause acute radiation syndrome, ARS, possibly leading to death without medical treatment. There can be expected between 50 and 90% mortality from acute effects alone. Death takes between several hours and several weeks. Fireball radius. This circle shows the maximum size of the nuclear fireball. If the nuclear blast touches the ground, the amount of radioactive fallout is significantly increased. Air blast radius, 20 psi. At 20 psi over pressure, Heavily built concrete buildings are severely damaged or demolished. Fatalities approach 100%, often used as a standard benchmark for heavy damage in cities. Air blast radius, 5 psi. At 5 psi over pressure, most residential buildings collapse. Injuries are universal, fatalities are widespread, often used as a standard benchmark for medium damage in cities. Air blast radius 1 psi. At around 1 psi over pressure, glass windows can be expected to break. This can cause many injuries in the surrounding population who comes to a window after seeing the flash of a nuclear explosion, which travels faster than the pressure wave, often used as a standard benchmark for light damage in cities. Thermal radiation radius. Third degree burns extend throughout the layers of skin and are often painless because they destroy the pain nerves. They can cause severe scarring or disfigurement and can require amputation. 100% probability for third degree burns at this yield. Incident energy is expressed in calories per square centimeter of surface area. By way of comparison, a 1.2 calorie centimeter square causes a second degree burn in 0.1 seconds if you had your oven on a 400 degree Fahrenheit temperature open the door and put your hand on the hot metal part of the door you would get a similar burn the nuclear fallout extends in various degrees of strength from Los Angeles northeast as far as Wyoming estimated total dose fallout contours for a 100 megaton surface burst 52 percent fission with a 15 mile an hour wind this light yellow colored area shows the fallout contour for one rads per hour the maximum downwind cloud distance is 1020 miles the maximum width 231 miles approximate area affected 183,320 square miles Fallout contour for 10 rads per hour. The maximum downwind cloud distance is 807 miles. Maximum width, 176 miles. Approximate affected area is 110,070 square miles. Fallout contour for 100 rads per hour. 
Maximum downwind cloud distance, 591 miles. Maximum width, 121 miles. Approximate area affected, 55,350 square miles. Fallout contour for 1,000 rads per hour. Maximum downwind cloud distance is 376 miles. Maximum width, 65.9 miles. Approximate affected area is 19,190 square miles. If you like this video, be sure to watch the rest of the series titled Surviving a Nuclear Detonation. Subscribe to Prepper Action for more thought-provoking survival videos and stay tuned for my upcoming series titled Surviving a Biological Hazard.